Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. We bring to you Nusa Penida which is a relatively undeveloped but picturesque island in Indonesia southeast of Bali just 30 minutes by boat and can be fully explored in 2 or 3 days. Catch the first ferry either from Sanur Harbour or Padang Bai. We rented a motorbike right off the harbour literally within minutes of getting off the boat. We rented for 2 days costing 75,000 rupiah per day. Riding a scooter in most of the island is a breeze but be careful on the turns because they tend to be a bit narrow. Another option is to rent a car or hire a driver for the day which is much more expensive. But I can imagine in high season they can get packed and crazy. And always use a helmet. It's not recommended to ride a bike if you haven't had a lot of experience. First stop, Diamond Beach with its pristine sands and towering cliffs. It's truly a picture perfect destination. Accessible via a steep stairway, the effort is well worth it for the mesmerizing views. The stairs are literally carved out of the cliffs and are this blazing shade of white in the sun. You'll also have to pay a small fee every time you go to one of the iconic spots around the island such as Diamond Beach, Kalinking Beach or Angel's Billabong. If you want to enjoy this spot all to yourself, we highly recommend coming early as this place gets incredibly crowded from 10am onwards. Day trips from Bali bring over hundreds of tourists each and every day. By the time we were heading back up, the stairs were literally filled with people squeezing to take pictures. Another suggestion is to go to these places at sunset. However, you might not have time to hike down to the beaches if it gets too dark. There is a strong current with a lot of rocks and coral in the waves. Praised for its stunning natural beauty, it boasts rugged cliffs, turquoise waters and dramatic beaches. Driving to Diamond Beach is not difficult and you can get here on your own. Yes, it's a bit challenging, just be careful and you'll love it. That's Atu Beach, a large cove with crystalline waters, golden sands and fringed by a coconut palm forest. Atu Beach and Diamond Beach are separated by a cliff, so you will start the descent for both beaches on the same starting point. We had a nice lunch at the top. The drinks were absolutely refreshing in that heat. We prefer to experience places at our own pace and especially to enjoy the scenery riding a scooter. Visiting Nusa Penida may not be for everyone. The best beaches are only accessible by foot and the descents range from challenging to extremely difficult. You definitely need a level of fitness to enjoy the full experience. But know that you will be rewarded with the best sights. Next, the Thousand Islands viewpoint is only a 5 minute ride away from Diamond Beach which gives a spectacular view of the coast and a handful of natural stone towers. As the name implies, there are not quite 1000 islands to speak of but the view is no less stunning. We've heard the sunrise from Thousand Islands is particularly good. It cost 25,000 rupiah to enter. We were just so impressed with Nusa Penida, the excitement just kept building up. Another insta-famous spot is Ruma Pohon Treehouse. You have to walk down some stairs to get here but it's nothing too challenging. The famous treehouses of Nusa Penida are literally next to Thousand Islands viewpoint. Be ready to see some crowds as this spot is really on everyone's radar. It costs extra to take photos and videos with the treehouse and you have a staff there who takes it for you. I actually bothered to carry a skirt in my bag just so I could get some nice pictures and videos. Why not hey? You can actually book one of the three houses, though you need to do so months in advance. 
tourism will soon grow faster and faster on Nusa Penida with the construction of roads. We highly recommend visiting ASAP before it's too late to enjoy this feeling of being privileged. Next up is Guyangang Waterfall which is barely even a waterfall but was one of my many favourite places we visited in Bali and Nusa Penida. The ride to Guyangang is on a nice road for most of the way but it does end with 15 minutes of bumpy pothole gravel roads. It's free to enter but if you don't bring your own sarong, there is a fee to rent the sarong. Guyangang Waterfall is more of a spring rather than a waterfall located down 700 blue stairs known locally as the Blue Stairway to Heaven welded to the side of a cliff which leads to a sacred water temple. It was a truly different experience as it seemed more untouched and not a lot of people seemed to know about or visit it. The 20 minutes trek down these stairs provides breathtaking panoramic views of the ocean, crystal clear water and dramatic cliff sides, but it's not for the faint-hearted due to the steepness and height. Keep in mind that this hike is also known to be a sketchy and difficult Climb, but descending slow and cautiously felt completely safe. Once at the bottom, the springs will be located on the other side of the temple. You will walk by the temple, so again be respectful. The spring consists of several different little pools of super clear water with the largest being the famous infinity pool. Be prepared for the intense waves while you are at the infinity pool. At one point, I did think that the wave was going to wash me away. We couldn't believe how we had the whole infinity pool to ourselves and we were just so blown away by the beauty of the whole place. All in all, this was definitely the best decisions we made to visit this island. We would not recommend visiting during the rainy season as the boats from Bali to Nusa Penida would often be interrupted by storms and rough seas. We visited at the end of April this year for two days. If you are short on time, it's also a great option to do a day trip from Bali where you can either explore the east or west coast. But we would recommend staying at least two whole days. Do check out our stories in Insta too. Please share, subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed watching our video. And we will be back with part 2 of Nusa Penida. So do stay tuned for more places to visit in Nusa Penida. Thank you.